don't worry, they won't be as hard as the ones on the SATs. For each correct answer, you'll get a nice little reward. Get all four and you'll win the game. Ready? Here's the first one. Stove is to kitchen as toilet is to what? If you said bathroom, good job, you're correct. Feeling good? Here's the next one. Desk is to furniture as triangle is to... Did you say shape? Way to go! That's also correct. How about this one? Carrot is to vegetable as green is to... I bet you said color. Once again, that's right. Wow, you're on a roll. See if you can go four for four and win the game. Candy is to sweet as pickle is to... The correct answer is sour. You win. So, how do you feel right now? Does it feel a little anticlimactic? After all, you just won the game. You were probably expecting something like this. Most of all, were you expecting a big payoff? If you felt something was definitely missing, you're not alone. We quickly got your brain hooked on the rewards from this slot machine. So how did we do that? Well, everything about this game, just like an actual slot machine, is designed to get you hooked. The flashing lights, the ringing bells, even the progress bar. Here to explain why your brain gets hooked is biomedical engineer Dr. Sri Sarma. Your brain quickly learns to link the sounds and flashing lights of the slot machine to a reward, the payout. Your brain then releases the neurotransmitter dopamine, which reinforces the link between stimulus and reward. The whole process is known as a reinforcement loop. The same kind of neurological pathway that gets triggered when you eat something delicious or engage in any pleasurable activity. Because we trained your brain to expect a reward, you experienced a split second of neurochemical craving when we took it away, otherwise known as withdrawal. But wait, aren't withdrawal and addiction bad for you? Sometimes, yes. But did you know that there's a positive side to addiction as well? Your brain is designed to get you addicted to learning and exploring by releasing pleasure chemicals when you do anything new and exciting. <laughs> Addiction only becomes unhealthy when this natural process spins out of control. <laughs> the question is, if our brains are predisposed to being addicted, how early in our development does this happen? Well, as we found out in this next experiment, pretty early. Hi, guys. Hi. What do you do when you really want something, but your mom and dad say you can't have it? Can you first? You sneak to get it. OK, it's a good answer. You can beg for it. Yeah, with that smile for sure, yes? Cry for it. Cry for it. There you go. Get a little more dramatic. Is anybody else? What do you do? When you, what do you think? You can go behind them and get it. <laughs> yes, you can. Those are great answers. So now, who wants to play a game? Are you guys excited? Yeah! All right, let's play a game. Looks like they're ready. But first, we had to explain the rules. All right. This is a delicious pink cotton candy. Is it for real? It's for real. I'm going to give you two choices, OK? Mm -hmm. You could choose to eat this now, or I'm going to leave for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And if you can hold yourself and not eat it, I'm going to bring you two more. So then you'll have hold three. Hold it, hold it. Yeah, I'm going to take that choice. This girl seems to know what's best for her taste buds, but can she really hold out the whole time? I'll see you in 15 minutes, OK? OK. All right. We offered each of these nine kids the same deal. If they didn't eat the cotton candy while left alone in the room with it, they'd be rewarded with even more of this sweet treat. But what they didn't know is that we'd be watching the whole time with our cameras behind this one-way mirror. So here's the big question. Of the nine kids taking part in this experiment, how many do you think have